Hi, my name is Alan Zhao. I'm a PhD candidate from MIT. In this paper, we introduce Jarset's Svelte. It is a tactile robot finger that is curved, compact, shaped like a human finger with both proprioceptive and tactile sensing capabilities. A lot of camera-based tactile sensors have been introduced in recent years. Compared to resistance, capacitance, magnetic, or other kinds of pressure sensors, Camera-based tactile sensing has the advantage of being able to produce high-resolution geometries of the contact with a very low cost. However, the imaging and illumination system, as well as the supporting mechanism, all take space. For this reason, it is surely easier to make camera-based tactile sensors as fingertip sensors, and it's generally much harder to apply camera-based tactile sensing technology to a large sensing area. One common way to achieve a large sensing area is to put multiple cameras at different sections of a finger to cover the inside of a long finger. Another way, as the OmniTac sensor did, is to put five small cameras inside a dome-shaped shell to cover many directions. It is also possible to only use one camera inside a cone-shaped finger, as the inside finger did. But this way, the camera looks at the contact surface at a pretty sharp angle, and the fingertip appears very small in the camera's field of view. So we want to ask the question, is it possible to design a human finger-shaped, large, and curved camera-based tactile sensor without sacrificing compactness and resolution? Our answer is just at Svelte, a single-camera human finger-shaped tactile sensor. It has only five main components, a 120-degree field of view wide-angle camera, a 3D-printed plastic backbone, two pieces of mirrors, two LED strips, and a cast silicon gel. The unique human finger shape of Jarset Svelte is made possible by controlling the curvature and placement of the two pieces of mirrors. Mirror 1 is a curved piece of mirror that is parameterized as a B-spline, while mirror 2 is flat. By shooting a beam of light from where the camera sits, the light could reach all the way to the tip of the finger after two reflections. In fact, through refraction and reflection simulation, we made sure that the entire sensing surface of the finger, which is the surface facing inside, is all covered by the single camera's field of view. We also made sure that the density of the reflected light beams is relatively uniform, which means we still maintain high resolution even at the tip of the finger. The resolution is around 30 pixels per millimeter at the bottom of the finger, and 20 pixels per millimeter at the tip of the finger. Here is a real sequence of tactile images that the sensor is able to capture. Here we press a M8 screw onto the finger. The screw measures 8 millimeters in diameter, and the pitch, which is the distance between two adjacent threads, is 1.25 millimeters, which can give an idea of the resolution of the finger. Besides tactile feedbacks, just as Svelte can also accurately estimate the net external torque applied on the finger, or the proprioceptive information. Because Jarset's felt is long and thin, when external torques are applied on the finger, the finger burns in both the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. The idea is that we could track the deformation of the plastic backbone directly to estimate the load, which is far more accurate than doing integration on the tactile images, which is affected a lot by the viscoelasticity of the silicon gel. Because the two LED strips are rigidly attached to the plastic backbone, the movement of the LEDs is equivalent to the deformation of the backbone. We can easily track the LED movements from the tactile images. Then, we train a convolutional neural network to estimate the net bending torque and the net twisting torque that are applied on the finger. Just as Svelte is a long, curved, human finger-shaped tactile robotic finger. The unique shape and the sensing capability over a large area makes it now possible to design robot ending factors that are dexterous, compact, and cost-effective. For more details on the finger, or our implementation of a robot hand with just a svelte, please check out our paper or our project website. Thank you.